This is Mansfield's Melbourne Monday edition and one of my special guests this week and it's very timely because Radio 3AW celebrated 65 years on the air last weekend. Jeff Mannion, one of the great stars in the galaxy of 3AW. How are you, Jeff? Lovely to see you. Good to see you. I too. didn't know that. 65 years. Six, right? um, uh, last Saturday. Is that right? I was there for nearly all of that. <laughs> yeah, you were. You came over from Perth. It was a very big star, didn't you? Uh, well, me, a medium but, star. Oh, you did. Collins Street was a Oh, yes. We did have a bit of a, a welcome here, yes. Yeah. And you ended up doing oh, wonderful work with Mary Hardy and Billy Caron over the years. Yes, that was later. I came over and did the breakfast program for six years. Yes. After Happy uh, on AW. And yeah. uh, he went to telly. That was 56, just before the games. But uh, then I went to afternoon, I did all sorts of things, everything except midnight to dawn, actually. But I did a lot of afternoon, as you say, with, with the girls. I heard you with Ernie during the week. It was a wonderful interview, recounting some of the great people you've interviewed over the years. Mm. Uh, just reel some of them off, Jeff. Well, that's difficult, because I could say, as far as entertainers are concerned, about the only ones I haven't interviewed were Frank and Bob Hope. All the other stars have been through Australia. Most of them I've had the pleasure of interviewing. Was there, is there one that you would love to? Would it be Frank Sinatra? Would you... Oh, yes. Yeah. That would be like a uh, yeah, $10,000 a week rise. Wouldn't it? Yeah. Not many people have interviewed Frank. He's not too mad on it. No. Jeffrey Brook is one who has, and yeah. Harry Sutcliffe. Remember Harry? Yes. Of record fame? Used to be an uh, A&R man for... Uh, for Pi, originally. Pie. And then Capital America, and that's where he, w he toured with Frank. Yeah. And he got some very good interviews here. Yeah. He's a beautiful bloke and... Who was that fellow that lives up on the Gold Coast, Alan Heffernan? Yes, Alan, he's still there. And Al, he was, he was a manager for uh, Lee Gordon, Lee money Gordon. manager. Yeah. yeah. He, Lee Gordon brought some great shows out. Oh, well, he was the, he was the leader of the, the great entrepreneur of the rock and roll. That's right. 57. Yes. I, I remember bringing the platters in from the airport one time. I was helping Alan because the plane was late and the platters were one of the stars and the, the big ball pen, you know, festival. Yes, hall. yes. And uh, he said, well, jump out and grab the platters off the plane. They're running late. <laughs> I'll never forget this. I had this brand new two-tone yellow-black Holden station wagon. Right. And I bundled them in, the original platters, this is, not the copies. <laughs> and away we went. And they were petrified. I could see their eyes rolling in the back seat. And they say, hey, man, you're going to kill us in the wrong side of the road. You're doing 100 miles an hour. <laughs> you know? And the girl in the platters had a very, very fine uh, mouth for invective. <laughs> I've never heard, there's lots of things I've never heard before. <laughs> and anyhow, we ended up racing them down the side of the stage and I was the side of the store up on, straight onto the stage, yes. petrified in a frightful, frightful condition they were, but they performed. <laughs> Isn't that <laughs> funny? The original But program. I got tied up with a lot of those people, early interviews with most of the, you know, the rock and rolls that came out here. Yes. Jeff, come back and see us once sometime soon on Mansfield's Melbourne, will you? That'd be a pleasure. Good on you, my friend. Thank you. Jeff Mannion, our special guest today.